I'm gonna make a chicken sandwich and french fries today. Fuck waffle fries. If you have parchment paper, get it out, put it on your cutting board. Trust me, you'll thank me later. We're gonna be roughly peeling our potatoes with a knife because I don't have a vegetable peeler. Please give me money. So this is kind of what I'm going for. Uh, we're doing a rough peel because I, I, it's gonna add some charm to the french fry. Um, also, with the parchment paper, you just take this all and throw it away. Easy cleanup. So you wanna take a little bit off the top here so you can have your nice flat surface to work with so your potatoes aren't moving anywhere. Uh, I'm gonna do about half inch uh, slices and you want it to be equal because you want them to cook at the same time. You don't want anything to burn. You don't want anything to be raw. It'll be fine. Damn boy, he thick. He a thick ass boy. All right, next, what you wanna do is you wanna take your, why do I always say what you wanna do? Soak these in water for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. You wanna get the starch off. Trust me, you'll thank you later. While your fries are soaking in, you can absolutely do this in a colander if you want to. Just make sure the water is running clear like this. I'm gonna take our chicken, which I've marinated ahead of time. I'm using salt, pepper, buttermilk, paprika, etc. We're just gonna do flour for this one. I wanna do uh, a bunch of paprika, salt and pepper, nothing too fancy. Uh, maybe some cayenne pepper. Make it spicy. Spicy! Some people don't like to season their flour, and they're wrong, just flat out. They're, they're wrong. Oh, by the way, we're not deep frying these fries. We're gonna do them in the oven, but I promise you they'll be the crunchiest, crispiest, best damn fry you've ever had in life. Fuck waffle fries. So this is a method that the English use, the British do, to get their fries nice and crispy. They boil them first, and then they put them in the oven. But here's a little fun fact for you. Potatoes contain pectin, and when you boil them this way, and you want to do it for maybe as long as you dare, um, you risk your potatoes breaking down into mashed potatoes. So to combat this, we're going to actually use vinegar. Uh, I prefer uh, white vinegar, but I only have apple cider right now. But we're going to add this to the pot before we get it boiling to make sure that the integrity of the french fry holds up. We want a fry that bites back, baby. Got more parchment paper on the cutting board because I do not like doing dishes. And I got my chicken breasts, which I'm gonna kinda cut down because I always go for the big breasts. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, make sure you don't marinate your, your chicken longer than two days. Two days is the absolute max you wanna put it in for. Otherwise, you're risking nasty bacteria and diseases. You don't want that. As short as half an hour, but maximum two days. Also, these are still a little cold. I want them to come up to room temperature, so I'm gonna have them sit for a little bit before I get to uh, dredging and everything. That'll give us plenty of time to work on our buns. While you're waiting for your buns to toast, preheat your oven. We're gonna go to 425. Also, I cleaned it. Did you see it? Are you proud of me? Add your oil or your oil if you're from Baltimore. All right, the fries have been boiling for about 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and drain them. Oil is getting nice and hot. If you have an instant read thermometer, you want it to be around 360, 370 degrees. Uh, and I'll see you shortly. I might have to get another pan because you don't want them overcrowded. Fuck, that's hot. That's hot. All right, once you get everybody nice and situated in your pans, you want to cover it with a hell of a lot of olive oil. Um, this works better with peanut oil, but I don't have that. But, you know, any neutral flavor oil, if you would rather have that, would work. But we're going to use olive oil because that's what I got. When everybody's nice and coated and you want to kind of see a sheen of oil on the pan, then you can go ahead and put them in the oven do it for about 30 minutes. The oil's pretty much where I want it to be, so I'm gonna go ahead and fry these chickies up now. Chickies! Take it, lay it away from you. We're gonna do a couple at a time because we want them to be able to get nice and crisp. Also, if you wanted to double batter them, you're more than welcome to do that. I just didn't feel like washing with the extra pan. Actually, scratch that. I had an idea about adding the uh, dredge, or the marinade, I'm sorry, to the flour sort of creating a dredge this way. I want to see if that'll produce a crispier chicken. Get your tong to tong tong tong. The clacks make sure they work. And uh, you know, flip them when you want it. That's looking pretty good, but I actually I'm really curious to see what happens with the, uh, the, the new dredging method. By the way, that was in for four minutes before I flipped it. You want to make sure that you're getting the, uh, the nice golden brown creeping around the sides there before you flip it. Also, you want to make sure your chicken is an internal temperature of 165 degrees. And why do I feel like I'm yelling right now? 
pull the fries out. I think I'm gonna flip them, maybe do another five, 10 minutes. But uh, if they don't seem extra like crispy enough, don't worry, they will firm up as they cool down. Transfer to a bowl, add salt. We're we'll adding Parmesan as well, but make sure you add salt as soon as you take them out, put them in the bowl, so it kind of adheres to the fry. Yeah, here we go, right? Now for assembly, want two pickle chips. I'm gonna be using bread and butter chips because they're my favorite. We'll be adding a little bit of secret sauce, special sauce, wherever you call it, whatever you call it, to the bun. Chimkin and a buttload of fries. That'll do. Also, shout out to Carson for providing the backing tracks to this video. Uh, he's got a Patreon. Check him out, Carson Evans. What the smell? 